Storm coming, two, three feet, going to be big, sort of <laughs> biblical. Mark Halpern. Ten week old puppy who has to so, every hour. Uh, <laughs> Mitt, Mitt Romney, um, we, a lot of reporting this weekend over Mitt Romney. Uh, is he going to run? Is he not going to run? I still think he's more likely to run than not, but lots of people in his life don't want him to run. And as he reaches out beyond that inner circle that does, I think he's hearing some pretty negative things. Huh. But negative, Chris things like, negative things like what? You're only up by five points in every Republican poll that's taken? Those, you know, as, as we said before, as Will said, it's, it's name ID. And so? Well, but, but over time, other people are going to get pretty well known by the time voters vote. Look, I, I think if he runs, he's a strong candidate for the nomination. But I, what people are worried about is he can't win a general. That's what people I are telling I wonder... You. Has anybody, Nicole, in this position that has run for president before and starts the next cycle in first place in just about every poll, has that man or woman ever walked away? Yes. Who? Mike Huckabee. Was Mike Huckabee in first place in every single poll? In, in lots of polls. Not every single, but lots of polls. Mike Huckabee knew he was going to run again in four years, that he was going to make money first. Mitt Romney has two choices. One, run when he's in first place, Nicole. Or two, don't run and be on boards and want to shoot yourself every <laughs> morning for the next 25 years of your life. I mean, if I had 11 cars and an elevator mind. for them, I wouldn't want to shoot myself. But I mean, he's got a good life. He's got a big family. I mean, I, listen, I think that the problem with Mitt Romney isn't Mitt Romney. The problem with Mitt Romney is structural. And I talked to his folks a couple weeks ago, and they've spent the last four years studying the data. They're still studying it. I think that what it showed was that no one has ever had a greater disparity between white and non-white voters. And the country hasn't changed. It's become more disadvantageous to a Mitt Romney general candidacy. So right. I think structurally, the Republican Party would be foolish to do that again. What do you think? I'm not sure. I disagree. Uh, people that but how do you think that structural problem is fixed this well, time? I, how does Mitt Romney change who he is? Because things, things are, are never stagnant in politics. You're looking at numbers from 2008 and 2012, and you're seeing an extraordinary explosion of minority voters, of black voters, of Hispanic voters. If Hillary, and I, I warn Democrats about this all the time when I speak to Democratic groups, if you think 2016's turnout is going to look like 2012 or 2008 with Barack Obama off the ballot, mm -hmm. you are like sniffing something. It's not. That's to say, Republicans believed for 30 years that they could run and say what Ronald Reagan said and get the same sort of turnout that Ronald Reagan did. Ronald Reagan was a phenomenon limited to races that Ronald Reagan ran in. And Barack Obama is a phenomenon limited to, to races that Barack Obama ran in. 2008, there will never be another 2008. 2012, People weren't excited. They still got out and voted for him. Mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton's not going to get that. She's not going to get the turnout uh, mm -hmm. among Hispanic voters and among uh, black voters that Barack Obama got. She's just I she, not. I'm not. I'm not sure you're right. I mean, go back to Romney, though. What you have to ask yourself, if you're trying to figure out will he run, is he clearly doesn't think that either Chris Christie or Jeb Bush is a slam dunk general election winner. He doesn't think Jeb can win. Right. But you got to ask yourself. Think Chris Christie can win. I agree with you that that certainly he thinks that's his trend line. But he will run if he continues to believe that. And the question, I think, if you want to try to suss out his psychology is why doesn't he think Jeb can win? Why doesn't he think Christie can win? Uh, well, because he's looked at one poll after another over the past year and a half. And he's seen that people, for whatever reason, aren't ready to elect the third Bush in five presidencies. Today. But people don't know well, Jeb Bush. Well, but guess what? You keep talking about today. Well, yeah, today Mitt Romney's in first place. Today What's Jeb Bush is having trouble. I, like, unfortunately, Michael J. Fox hasn't moved into his neighborhood lately, and he can't get in the time machine and the what? DeLorean oh. and find out what things are going to look like a year from now. You judge based on today. And if you're like Mitt Romney, you say, okay, wait a second, I start with this advantage that I haven't had before. I mean, do you think Mitt Romney thinks I suck so bad that I'm going to take these good numbers and make them worse? No, he goes, 
I'm well, going to learn. Well, he did last time. I mean, see, that's the point, Joe. He did last time when he stood up and said his comment about 47%. You think that he's a fundamentally different guy who sees himself in the well, country differently? The why, why do you think? Hillary Clinton, lost, too. I mean, why Hillary, think, Hillary, Jim, Clinton why couldn't, Hillary Clinton couldn't even run a book tour. Be, Hillary Clinton be, blew 2008 be, in historic manner. She screwed it up so badly. She had to work like, overtime, and Mark Penn had to work overtime to lose in 2008. Democrats are doing her again because they think, oh, you know, maybe she's learned. Speak like you're Mitt Romney. Tell me why it is, Governor Romney, privately, why oh, it is that Jeb Bush and Chris Christie can't beat Hillary Clinton. Well, why, because, why can't they? Forget well, the polls because, today. Because, forget Bridgegate, Chris Christie has had eight credit downgrades in his own home state. He's upside down in his home his own home state. His, his fiscal record in New Jersey is an absolute disaster. Democrats are going to tear him from limb to limb. He's too thin skinned. He doesn't have the discipline that I have. He's going to get pissed off at some point over the next year in Iowa, and he's going to raise his voice and kaboom, right, it's going to be right, over. Mitt, why can't Jeb win? Uh, because Jeb Bush, he's, he's, he's prickly. The guy hasn't been in the arena since 2006. He hasn't even been on TV much debating. He's been in this cocoon. He's been in this bubble. He, he bristles. There's no joy to Jeb Bush. He may be the smartest guy out there, and he sure is a lot smarter than I am. But his last name is Bush. And it may not be fair, but Americans aren't going to elect a third Bush and five presidents. And well, that's presidents? what Mitt Romney thinks on both of those gentlemen. And you know what? It, it, his team's argument is pretty persuasive. Now, am I doing Mitt Romney's bidding now? No, I'm not. I'm just just saying what we they think, the game. and also what <laughs> also what the truth is. And you said something before about Jeb Bush. Like Jeb says, he's going to run a joyous campaign. Really? I know Jeb. How many days have you seen Jeb joyous past 8 a.m. in the and morning? And be honest. Be honest. Listen, I think there is joy Answer for my Jeb question. in different things. Answer I think my question. I saw Jeb Bush pass the A-plus education reform plan, yeah. and he was very joyful. He, he derives joy in politics from different things than, mm -hmm. than other politicians. He enjoys right. a policy fight. He enjoys right. a legislative fight. And I don't know if those things will serve him well on the campaign trail, but he definitely he loves governing. He loves answering his own email from reporters. I mean, there are things that he loves that will yeah. make him refreshing to vote. Yeah. To, to Nicole's earlier point, though, how does Mitt Romney recast himself in a way that doesn't look completely cynical? He's already floated the idea that he's this warrior for the economically oppressed in this new incarnation That's of himself. That's the challenge. How do you start over and have people and hope they forget what happened in the last 47%. campaign? Forty-seven percent. Well, all those things, most, many of them were not fair, but they were people how do you erase grabbed that? onto them. But how do you erase that impression and get a clean slate and say, I'm actually the guy who's going to fight for the little guy now? I don't know. That's a hard thing to do. But you Joe, you're saying that against Hillary Clinton you don't have to. Is that your point? Hillary Clinton has just as many billionaire friends and has led over the past 25 years the most elite, the most insular, the most Gatsby-like existence <laughs> of any person in the political world today. Her friends are at Davos, her friends are at Goldman Sachs. I mean, Hillary Clinton, when she said, we're not really that rich, do you know why she said that? Because everybody she hangs out with are billionaires. I don't knock her. If you're president of the United States, if you're first lady, if you're secretary of state, guess what? You don't hang out where Willie and I hang out with, where, where we hang out. Like, you right. don't, you don't, you know, you, you, I'll give you, you I'll give you a data point. There. I am telling, I'm telling you, Mitt, remoteness with but, but her. she's at the top of all the Democratic polls. So, I mean, well, that's, that's I'll fine. Give, I'll give you data Democrats point. are you the smartest, Demo the smartest Democrats around Hillary Clinton are terrified of running against Jeb and they look forward to running against Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. I mean, they may be wrong, but that's their perspective. Yeah, yeah. Maybe so. All right, we, uh, we do have to get to the this blizzard? massive The Great storm. Blizzard of 2015? It could okay. be. It's set to pound the Northeast with an estimated 29 million people living in the blizzard's path. Weather experts are saying this may be the one for the ages, as snowfall totals could hit historic levels while potentially shutting down New York City. Poli uh, people in the storm zone are preparing to be stuck indoors for days. Grocery stores were packed over the weekend with many shoppers finding empty empty shelves. Critical agencies from the National Guard to the state police are also going over their preparations. The storm is also throwing off travel plans in a big way across the nation. According to the website FlightAware, airlines have canceled more than 1,800 flights for today alone. More than 1,600 have already been canceled 
for tomorrow <coughs> for the very latest. Let's go to Bill Karen's. Bill, it looks terrible out there. How bad is it going to get? And most importantly, when should people across the Northeast get off the roads? Yeah, the, the, some people are already saying they should just stay home today if you possibly can. I know for a lot of people it's just not an option. A lot of schools are still in session.